Hey there, everybody. It's Michelle Ray Smith. Welcome back to the Attic Addicts and welcome to the Daily Dose where I pop on to show you two things that I have sourced in my closet or even sold in my closet and share with you why I wanted them in my closet, but also a little bit of info on the brand, the history, and basically like what they're about. So you can pass on some of that info to your potential customers or clients, or you can just, I don't know, learn something new and enjoy it. I love that. <laughs> I think I need to turn off my little dinger here. I do. Hey, there you go, guys. <laughs> I can't wait to go live with you guys. I can't wait. It's my favorite thing. So anyways, let me get started with um, what I have today because I actually have two things that uh, one surprised the heck out of me. Had no idea of this over here happening. And then these down here, I'll show you. And they were just like the cutest, funniest little tidbits of info about it. So let me go ahead and start with this bra because this bra is actually a very beautiful bra and it is from the brand No Boundaries. And this is actually a Walmart brand. Now it's a junior brand for them. So you can see how cute it's got an underwire actually. Look at the um the uh, straps with the cute little print on them and um it's just a beautiful bra you know it's got lace let's see you can see yeah really pretty so i found it for a dollar at a garage sale and i have to tell you guys that if you're not looking for bras to purchase to resell you're missing out you are missing out i've been doing this now part-time for over a year and a half I have a great little business going and like I said, it's part time for me and I looked over my nose. I am not even joking. You guys, I've sold 29 bras, everything from Victoria's Secret to Adore Me to Airy to um, Marilyn Monroe. Actually, the satin push up Marilyn Monroe one, <clears throat> excuse me, um, was so, excuse me, the one I got for one I got $10 for, which was the lowest, lowest that I got. So anyway, oh, this is my NA for the day, non-alcoholic beer that I love. And it is, it is awesome. It's so yummy. And I think it's like Norwegian or something. It's like an amber ale. Anyway, okay. So no boundaries. Let's talk about a couple, you know, talk about a little bit about no boundaries. So it's a Walmart brand. Now it's the junior junior line for the Walmart brand. So they have really cute undies, they have really nice bras and everything is really affordable, which we love. And we know that about Walmart, you know? I mean, it's, we know how we feel about Walmart, but Walmart is what Walmart is. And right now in this economy, Walmart's probably, probably gonna be a little bit busier than normal. And uh, so are we, yay, so. Anyway. <laughs> So actually, No Boundaries hasn't been around for that long. And August 1st of 2019 actually is when it um, kind of hit the market. And they just want, like I said, inexpensive, great clothes, cute, fast fashion, and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so here's where it gets interesting. I didn't know that they're coming out with a brand new teen boys complete line. So... I was looking at it and you know how you, and I'm, oh my God, please. I'm not good with, with, with computers. I'm not good with the language that I'm supposed to call things in the computer. So just bear with me. <laughs> so anyway, well, whatever. I don't even know. I forget what I was talking about. So anyways, it was the key. It was, it was the awesome, awesome website. So what I was going to try to tell you was it's called high snobiety okay and it's a page and i kept clicking on no boundaries and it kept taking me to this beautiful website and i'm like damn am i am i like is this taking me to a different place it's not they have their own website walmart does just for this brand you guys it's worth looking at just as it's a money saving line of clothing okay i'm here to talk to you about saving money in all aspects of your life whether it's benefiting me as a thrifter at attic addicts or not maybe it is something that you can buy 
um, on Poshmark, but maybe it's a brand, I don't know, that I found at the store and it's, you know, a deodorant or a, a, a something that, you know, a toothpaste that's inexpensive. I don't know. I just like deals. So it's going to be a mixture of things. But anyway, High Snobiety is actually the site and I went through and I looked at it and they have the coolest teen kids stuff. But in even the campaign, well, I come from the fashion um, and TV side of things, uh, but the campaign, it's actually shot and filmed in a Walmart. But the kids that they picked out, the models are like so funky and so perfectly cast and the photographer's amazing. So I'm gonna actually add that at the bottom so you guys can <clears throat> take a peek at it, at it if you're just curious. And like I said, I don't know what the resale value on that is. I'm just talking about this bra and I hope, you know, I got it for a dollar and I see that it's probably gonna sell for, you know, nine or $10 for me. But like I said, that's fine. I'll, t I'll take nine or $10. So that's a little bit about um, no boundaries. So the one I really wanted to tell you guys about. Okay, so anyways, <laughs> I couldn't believe this. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is something that you all know about, unless you're, you're like an ostrich and you have your head in a hole or something. It's Uggs. Now, we, it started out in Australia. As we know, I have this cute fuzzy pair. It's actually a women's size 14. I did not know they made women's size 14. So when I put these up, I actually expect them to probably go pretty quickly because that's a very unique size. So anyway, they're black and cozy and awesome and everything we, we just love about Uggs, you know. Let me show you the label. I can't just take for granted that everyone here knows what the Ugg label looks like. Oops, I think I need it near my face. So it's the camera can, yeah. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait to go live with you guys. Oh my God, we're gonna have so much fun. So I know you're dying, right? You want to know about Uggs. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Number one, Uggs was actually originated at the beach <laughs> in Southern California. Brian Smith, now he's a Smith, so he's gotta be like really cool. Um, he decided that he was going to go down to SoCal with a surfboard and freaking make these cozy, sheep, fuzzy, warm <laughs> boots and take them to the beach because you know, that just makes sense, right? <laughs> That's what I would probably do. <laughs> anyway, these Uggs were born in Australia. So here's a funny thing about it. Guess what they were originally called? Uggs or Uggies was short for ugly boots. <laughs> and that's what they called them, ugly boots. So when the surfers started becoming like really, you know, into it and started loving these things and wearing them all the time, they changed it to Ugg boots and that's how it stayed that way. But in all honesty, it was the girlfriends and partners of the surfers who stole their shoes and actually wore them around and people saw them and were asking questions and the brand was born. Can you believe that? Oh my gosh, I have so much fun reading about these things that are just, it's just crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and the no, no boundaries too. I thought, well, this is just from Kmart. That's not ba a bad thing, but you know, we'll, we'll check it out. And then I couldn't believe how cool it is. So anyways, you guys, I love seeing you every day. I love just, um, I don't see you, but I can see that, you know, you're watching. I can't wait to get to the point where I can talk with you and I can go live. So thank you for spending your time with me today. I can't wait to see you tomorrow, like I just said. And I'll have two more things to show you and two more things to tell you a little bit about. So have a great night. Remember, knowledge is power, guys. And peace out. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.